What is this? Measuring 13 to 1400 counts per minute? What could it be? Why, it's a dinosaur bone. Not that little tiny one I've shown you guys before. It's actually a big one. A uh, guy I know at work brought this in. I was talking about how uh, fossils can of often be radioactive. And he said, oh, I have this big old dinosaur bone. It's one of those pieces that they kind of like, you know, broke when they were removing dinosaurs from the ground and so on. And he brought it in. Sure enough, it was radioactive. Interesting. As soon as I took the Polymaster, here's the Polymaster. I'm going to put my hand over the sounder so it doesn't wake the entire world up. But as, I, as soon as I brought the Polymaster in, it went kind of nutty. Nope, see, it went up to 7, 0 0.7 microsieverts per hour and so on. And if we hmm, hold this such that the world isn't awoken, you know, it's actually difficult to hold the Polymaster and hold the sounder because the sounder is rather loud, so you might have to just sort of take my word for it. Maybe I can turn the camera upside down. Third of a microsievert. Not bad. And if I hold this thing right, I've gotten almost a fourth of a microsievert per hour off of this little rock. Not bad. Well, that was weird. The Polymaster jumped to 0 0.08 and then back to 36. Software bug? Perhaps. The microprocessor probably hicked up, it had a hiccup. That was odd. I've seen this, the uh, uh, inspector do it, too. So apparently it's pretty commonplace. At least that's my guess. Alright, so anyway, you got the idea. I took a spectrum of it while I was at work, too. I just took this little guy, I put it on my uh, desk by my, well, I have, an, I have an office, and I put it down by my desk, and while I was working, I let the Polymaster take a gamma spectrum. That's right, I was able to do gamma spectroscopy while drinking my coffee while at work. Thank you, Polymaster. I actually could have gotten away with this with my Gamma Spectacular too, which is also, also small enough and portable enough to carry with me, but I didn't have my Gamma Spectacular on me, unfortunately, or I would have wanted to show that as well. I would have wanted to, you know, show both. But anyway, I have to get to work, and i got to get to bed, and all this other stuff, so this is all you guys get to see. But let me just leave you with one last thing. Let me leave you with the spectrum from the radioactive dinosaur bone... Yeah, I know, it's not that amazing. My special effects are kind of sucking. And I'm on the old camera right this moment, too, because I have just honestly am too tired to bring out my good one. There you go. If you have dinosaur bones, test them. And in fact, as a famous friend of mine said once, actually many times, test everything. Oh yeah, and the dinosaur bones are radioactive because of uranium.